Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing well. It has been some time since I posted my last video. Meanwhile, I have been working on some other projects and was trying to build a channel to reach you all more effectively. I will talk more about that after the demo of today's application. Based on a lot of requests from all of you to build the inventory management solution in Google Sheet rather than Excel Sheet, I was able to spare out some time to build this out for you all. I hope you guys like it. And as you can rec recognize from this sheet on the screen, it looks similar to the Excel sheet that I had prepared last time. It contains all the demo products like barnwood tree, Christmas tree with, uh, with demo product codes and everything. While on the second page, as you can see, there is a barcode page where there is all the barcode set up. It is all these product codes are encoded into this barcode format. Then there is a page for QR code. Right now I've encoded these QR codes to include just the product codes, but you can, you can change the product code to whatever you want and it'll automatically switch that QR code into a new one. Even now you can scan the QR code to see what I'm trying to say. Then there is a page for inventory check-in. This is the page same as last time. You can use your mobile phone to scan a QR barcode and the barcode will scan into this specific cells at the same time, you'll see the counts on this page go up for quantity in. And similarly for inventory checkout, when you open this page and then scan a barcode, the, the product code will catch will be will show up here, which will uh, at the same time correspondingly change your numbers on the quantity out on this cell. Finally, the math automatically happens and it tells you how much quantity is left in your inventory. And then there is a price column that I added for fun. So you can add like a sum or a total at the same time to calculate how much is your sales. So let's get started with the demo. I have my phone ready. I've already printed out all these barcodes to scan. And let me start scanning with my first number. You'll start seeing those barcodes pop up in a quick second. There you go. As you can see, I scanned one more new product. I'll try to scan a more. Here you go. And as you may remember since last time, this is a demo uh, version of the scanner app. So if you scan more than like three or four times, it will tell you demo that it's a demo version. Please subscribe for the full version so that you don't you don't see that message anymore. Similarly, if I scan a few more on this uh, on this page, so this will add to the checkout. This means that you are checking out that product or selling that product to someone. It's no more part of your inventory. Here we go. So now as you can see that there are, uh, I've checked in one, two, three, four, five, five products into the inventory and I've checked out two, uh, two from my inventory, which means there should be just three left. There you go. So that's about it. And uh, I've prepared a step-by-step -step guide on how to set this up and it is available on my website. The link to my website is mentioned in the description. This is the new channel that I was talking about earlier. Now you can connect with me for customized requests and I will try to build those out and have it available for you as a template on my site. At the same time, there will be other self-service templates available on my site that you can purchase. For example, this inventory management solution guide will be, is available on my website right now that you can purchase and try to set it up at, at your speed. At the same time, you can tweak these, uh, tweak these applications to match your needs in a better way. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have some use cases in mind and I will be happy to help you. And I'm sorry, I know that you all have been reaching out to me for support and uh, custom projects. While I've had some time to work on some of the other, some of your projects, but uh, I could not reach out a lot to a lot of people. And I'm really sorry for that because I have uh, other professional commitments that I need to be uh, working on. I look forward to uh, help you more in the future. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you on my website.